Top 10 Documentary Limited Series available on Netflix. With the help of documentaries, we may all feel more connected. Assemblages of historical video, images, talking heads, pre-recorded audio, and sequences of physical expeditions or ordinary mundane duties all contribute to a documentary's essence, which is what most viewers gravitate toward. Even when seeing something with blatant bias, there is an inescapable sense of its genuineness. The best documentaries convey a really personal, even intimate, message through the utilization of real-world vignettes presented in a variety of formats. The rising popularity of docuseries has given us the opportunity to delve more deeply than ever before into a subject. Netflix boasts a plethora of excellent documentaries on a wide variety of topics, from true crime and sports to the art of filmmaking itself. And here are the top 10 best documentaries on Netflix. Let's begin. 10. The Tinder Swindler, July 1st, 10. Each of us has matched with a guy on Tinder who seemed a bit too perfect. Images of a lavish lifestyle complete with frequent international travel, designer clothes, and immaculate personal grooming. Some people aren't interested in wasting their time, but others are excited by the prospect of meeting their perfect mate through the app. So begins Simon Leviev's con. It doesn't take long for a woman to fall for Simon's charisma and begin giving him money after he suddenly becomes injured in an attack by his enemies. Simon is skilled at luring in women and love bombing them with presents, costly trips, and protestations of love. The Tinder swindler is successful in demonstrating how simple it is for a man to scam and influence a woman, leading her to pay him hundreds of thousands of dollars on the basis of falsehood. To this critic's dismay, Simon still preys on the vulnerable in order to fund his lavish lifestyle. Tinder Scammer is a continual reminder that con artists will stop at nothing to pull off their scam, and that trust is not something to be gained lightly in the online dating arena. 9. This Changes Everything, 7. July 10th. This Changes Everything, a documentary about sexism in Hollywood that was produced in collaboration with the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media and honored at the 2022 Emmys, delves into the issue. The film is an important and powerful look at gender inequality and how to combat it, featuring a number of well-known actresses and directors in the field. These include Jessica Chastain, Sandra Oh, Reese Witherspoon, and Shonda Rhimes, to name a few. 8. Shania Twain, Not Just a Girl, 7 out of 10 No one can deny that Shania Twain is one of the most important figures in the history of country music. Even while you probably know at least a few of Twain's songs, such as That Don't Impress Me Much, From This Moment On, and Man, Like a Real Woman Inside. These are just a few of her many, many hits. You may not be aware of the struggles she overcame to achieve her popularity. Things haven't always been easy for her, what with the discrimination she faced as a female in the field, the death of both of her parents, the breakdown of her marriage, and a brush with Lyme disease. But Twain has never given up, so the documentary is a fascinating and inspiring story that looks back on her difficult, pioneering history and forward to her promising future. 7. Stay On Board, The Leo Baker Story, 7 out of 10. With Stay On Board, The Leo Baker Story, we follow Leo Baker on an unexpected journey into a rarely discussed sport, the world of professional skateboarding. The film's directors, Nicola Marsh and Giovanni Rita, delve into the cutthroat character of a subculture that rapidly went from the local skate park to the international stage. Marsh and Rita's documentary provides an opportunity for Leo Baker to share how his talents propelled him to the top while also creating a safe haven for the LGBTQ community. Line of the brand in question. The fast-paced and in-depth documentary White Hot will appeal to 5. Our Father, June 9th, 10. The documentary titled Our Father demonstrates that there are moments when the truth is stranger than fiction by being frightening, upsetting, and just plain peculiar. The documentary reveals that Donald Klein, a former fertility physician in Indianapolis, secretly used his own sperm to impregnate dozens of his patients without their knowledge. The results of a DNA test carried out by a single woman in the comfort of her own home set in motion a chain of events that no one could have foreseen but which ultimately proved to be significantly more catastrophic. 4. The Sparks Brothers, 7 tenths. 
Sparks is the band that your favorite band listens to the most, yet they've been quietly making music for the past 50 years. Despite this, Sparks is the band that your favorite band listens to the most. Edgar Wright's outstanding biopic of the pop rock duo Ron and Russell Mayle, titled The Sparks Brothers, intends to put an end to that misconception with its release. When compared to other music documentaries, which frequently dig into the personal lives of the musicians they are covering, Wright maintains the focus entirely on the music, and as a consequence, by the time you leave the movie, you will feel just as passionate about Sparks as he does. This present is intended for the person who likes listening to music. 3. Sad Hill Unearthed, 7.4 out of 10. Anyone who considers themselves a fan of the good, the bad, and the ugly should definitely check this out, as it serves as a thoughtful reflection on what it means to be a fan and how we pay respect to the works of art that have influenced our lives. Sad Hill Cemetery is where the action in Sergio Leone's classic western culminates, but over time it has become overgrown and looks nothing like it did in the film. In what can only be characterized as a labor of love, a group of dedicated devotees has renovated the cemetery to its former beauty. This documentary, unlike others that explore fandoms, is based on a single scene from a single film and demonstrates the profound impact that even a fragment of art can have on our lives. 2. Rolling Thunder Review, 7.6 out of 10. Martin Scorsese, in the documentary Rolling Thunder Review, which he directed on Bob Dylan's concert tour in 1975, investigates the hazy lines that separate Bob Dylan's fictional identity from his real existence. In Rolling Thunder Review, directed by Scorsese, fact and fiction are intercut in a way that makes it difficult for the audience to distinguish between the two. Despite all of this audience manipulation, there is a fantastic concert film with Dylan, Joni Mitchell, Joan Baez, and many other artists from this tour. At points, the concert has the sense of a circus, while other times it feels more like a concert. Scorsese has shown in his prior music documentaries that he is able to probe deeply into what makes an artist appealing and then play it up to stunning effects on screen. This talent was proved by Scorsese in his previous music documentaries. Made You Look, a true story about fake art, July 10th. Imagine that you are an extremely affluent art collector. You have some experience with well-known brands, but how confident are you that you could spot a knockoff? It's quite unlikely, which is why you should entrust art dealers and galleries with the responsibility of determining whether or not a picture is authentic. What happens, though, if the audience is aware that they are being tricked? This is the scenario that is portrayed in the film Made You Look. The most significant piece of art theft in the annals of human history was perpetrated against the world-famous art dealer Nodler and Company in this true story about fake art. The employees of Nodler raise issues about whether or not they, too, were duped by the company's tactics or whether or not they opted to turn a blind eye as part of a strategy that would benefit all parties. In the engrossing documentary about con artists that was directed by